Jim is busy downstairs. He's standing by with the GM of the Cardinals, Michael Gersh. Jimmy. So 26 and 12. Is it fair to say that Mike Schilt exceeded your expectations? Yeah. I don't <laughs> think anyone expects to go out and win 700 ball for, you know, a six-week period. When you look at the guy that you've hired now as your manager taking the interim tag away, what is it about his personal makeup that made you think not only long-term with him but initially to give him the job? Well, I think if, if you watch the press conference and listen to what, what Mike talks about, you know, he's very, he's very selfless. He, he's, he's focused on, you know, serving players, helping them as much as he can, putting the organization in the best possible light, you know, doing everything he can to, to help us move forward. And, you know, that attitude is that, that approach just serves him well in the clubhouse with the players, serves him well when he deals with media, when he deals with the front office. He's just, he, he's, he's a listener, he's a learner, and it's, it's just easy to work with and easy to imagine that continuing to grow as he goes forward. The uh, Cardinals have improved in pretty much every single category during this recent run where they're winning series after series. Had the thought of taking the interim tag away come up earlier? What were you guys evaluating? What made this the final decision to come today? Yeah, I it's somewhat similar to, to decisions like this. There's usually not like a breaking point. There's not a certain moment where it's like, aha, you know, we scored six runs yesterday in the first inning, and therefore we saw those come back from a, you know, our a big loss. And, um, you know, from the moment we hired, we, we we put Mike in the role as interim. We talked about it, that, you know, he's this is this is not like just a place filler. Like he's a legitimate candidate for this position, and everything has just gone so well. And obviously results are important but you look at process you can't always just rely, rely on results and everything about how we're going about things how the players are going about things how the staff's got everyone in position to succeed it's just things have been going so well it just felt like the time was right to go ahead and commit and and, and make this a long-term relationship player after player says that there was a change in energy and sometimes when there's a change at the top or the roster is shaken up there's going to be a, a different feel in terms of energy. Have you guys picked up on the, the difference in energy, not just what you're seeing on the field, but also in the clubhouse? Yeah, I think I think some of the changes that, that Schilte and his staff have made that have sort of brought the players more involved in the advanced scouting and the preparation and the evaluation of each other and working together has just changed sort of the vibe. Everyone, look, everyone's always, you know, all working together at the same goals, but, but the... Um, the interactions, the, the there's more more opportunities for everyone to sort of show what they can do to help each other and help move the move the team forward. And it's just been a, it's been a great vibe. I know it's a busy day for you guys. Thank you for the time. I'm oh, glad to do it. All right, Danny Rick, the uh, GM, Michael Gersh. Okay.